Hello and welcome to the Board Gosh Energy Imagine a Better Way series where we explore how to make your home more energy efficient, comfortable and sustainable. In our first episode, we're joined by Home of the Year judge and architect Amanda Bone, who's going to be running us through everything you need to know about home energy upgrades, also known as retrofitting. Hello Amanda, how are you? Hello. So Amanda, tell us first and foremost, uh, why should we be considering a home energy upgrade? Okay, well, a home energy upgrade is all about improving your home to make it more energy efficient. So what does that mean? It means that you actually use less energy. So that has a huge positive impact on the environment because less energy means your carbon footprint is smaller. But not only that, it means that your energy bills are a lot less. So you've got the advantages to the environment, but it also makes a more comfortable home. It makes a healthier home, a cozy home. Imagine having a constant air temperature throughout the year. Imagine a better indoor air quality. It can really radically change your life. So, I mean, it's environmental advantages, you're making savings, but also actually the works that you carry out for the upgrades um, adds to the durability of your own home because you're potentially upgrading the structure and it could possibly increase the value of your home. So essentially it's an investment in your home. It is with long-term benefits and one that you can experience and enjoy every day. Now, Amanda, I have to ask you, something that we hear a lot about is the BEOR rating. What exactly is a BEOR rating? Okay, so BEOR stands for Building Energy Rating, and it rates your home's energy level on a scale from A to G. So A is the most energy efficient home, and G is the least energy efficient. I'm not surprised when it comes to Ireland that 53% of the housing stock has a BEOR of D or lower. And actually, I um, carried out some works to my own home a couple of years ago, and I managed to increase the rating from a G to a B. So are you seeing savings then monthly in your bills? I have seen enormous savings, but to be honest, the home was hardly habitable when it was a G, and now it's just snug. Okay, so the, the benefits are manifold. So for anyone watching who's decided, actually, I'm going to start, where should they begin? Like, where does the process begin? So where should you begin? Well, you can either do baby steps, or you can do things incrementally, or you can do the whole shebang in a retrofit where you carry out a multiple of changes at one stage. But let's say you start with the baby steps. You could uh, turn off your lights when you're not needed. You could change from halogen lights to an LED, which is less heat, less energy. You could look at your heating system. Is your heating system running inefficiently? Um, could you change for let's say upgrade your boiler to an A-rated boiler, or actually could you look at integrating and installing renewable technology? Perhaps you split up your house, so you have zones for bedrooms, zones for living, zones for circulation. So you only put on the heat in the areas as you use them. Or even right down to kind of minor things, like just pull out your plugs mm -hmm. and turn it off. It's amazing how much electricity is used overnight from your computer or your charger being plugged into the wall. Another small thing you could do is, have you got drafts? How you got drafts around your windows and doors? How about trying to seal those? So they're kind of more minor things. Then you could move on and maybe you look and say, well, actually, where is your heat loss? Can you look at increasing your insulation in your walls, in your roofs, in your floor? Um, look at upgrading your doors and windows. Are they low performance? Can you change them to like from single glaze to double glaze or even triple glaze? Then maybe install an air to water heat pump, one of my favorites. And maybe install some uh, solar PV panels on the roof that'll generate electricity, that'll feed into the heat pump, but will also help boil your kettle. And so not only have you reduced from one electricity bill and an oil or gas bill, you've now down to just one electricity bill to run your air to water heat pump, or maybe not, because that PV panel on the roof could cut it all out. Mm. Because, you know, houses that are built now, so a new built house, they have to comply with NZEP, which is nearly zero energy building. I was going to ask you actually, what type of home benefits most from an energy upgrade? So it just depends on the different types of energy upgrades that you can carry out, but every single type of home could benefit, whether it's a minor or a major way. Which is a lovely thing as well, because obviously a lot of people live in homes that they don't necessarily own. So if you're renting, you can still make changes if you're conscious for the environment and your bills. And when we talk about deep retrofitting, it sounds scary to me. Uh, explain what exactly is a deep retrofit, please. Scary? Not at all. Look, if you're going to do something, why not do as much as you can? Make the most of it. So what is a deep retrofit? It's about looking at the home from an overall point of view in terms of its energy efficiency and carrying out a multiple amount of energy upgrades all at the one time to increase the BEOR rating. 
and you can do it all at once or you can actually do it maybe one step at a time. Oh, so it's actually like rather than doing it piece by piece, you're doing everything at once. So that's the deep retrofit. That's what deep is, yeah. Okay, okay, great. So Amanda, I've decided I want to do a home energy upgrade. How do I go about it? Well, Board Gosh Energy have partnered up with Energlaze. And actually, if you carry out a home energy upgrade with Energlaze, you get energy credits, which Board Gosh Energy can then use the energy credits. They deduct them off the total value of all the qualifying works. So you save money. Okay, and also the SEAI offer grants as well, so people can find out, depending on the scale of work, what they're entitled to. Yes, and the SEAI have a whole list of registered contractors who carry out the home energy upgrades and will allow you to qualify for the grants. That's great. Thank you so much, Amanda. Very informative stuff. Thank you for joining us on our first episode today. Uh, that's all from us today in our Imagine a Better Way series. Do join us next time for lots more tips and hints on how you can make your home more sustainable. And in the meantime, if you'd like to find out how Borgosh Energy can help you make your home more energy efficient, visit borgoshenergy.ie.